All right, head on over to drupal.org slash project slash zircon, Z-I-R-C-O-N, or if you're British, Canadian, or somewhere else in the world, Z-I-R-C-O-N. Scroll down, and this is a really nice little theme that's been developed specifically for Drupal 7 and 8. It's not on very many sites. That's okay. We're going to use it because it's one of the few actual themes ready for Drupal 8 as of today. Now, we'll probably be updating this video at some point once Drupal 8 is released, but for now, we're good to go. Go ahead and right-click on the tar.gz and copy that link. This is the same process as installing modules. Head back over to our site, and this time click on Appearance and Install New Theme. Again, same process as with modules. Go ahead and paste that URL and click Install. The theme is downloaded to your web server and we're able to now turn it on. Click Install Newly Added Themes, scroll down to the bottom, and you'll see Zircon, a flexible, recolorable theme with many regions and responsive mobile-first layout. Click Install and Set as Default. Now, as you learned in the intro video, two things. Number one, installing new themes doesn't change your content. And number two, you may need to reposition your blocks. But let's take a quick peek at the settings. Click on the word settings, and there's not very much here at all. We have the normal toggle displays in Zircon and the shortcut icon. Once again, if you want to update the logo, that's under global settings and logo image settings. Well, not a problem. Click save and go to your site and you should see something a little different and indeed we do this is zircon it's a completely flexible robust and mobile friendly theme for drupal let's head over to structure and blocks and click on demonstrate block regions for zircon and you'll see that there are a number of block regions available a header region the main menu needs to go in the main menu block region because then it gets proper formatting. There's a slideshow region here in case you're using something like View Slideshow or one of the many other really great slideshow makers for Drupal. A featured block region, help, sidebar first, sidebar second, content, panel first, panel second, call one, two, three, and four, and then a footer region. You'll notice that some of the regions from our default theme are no longer available. So let's take a quick peek and see what we need to do here. You'll see that there is now a ton of stuff up in the header region because, for instance, the footer region we'd assigned the Powered by Drupal block no longer exists. So go ahead and put that back into footer. And that disappears. Let's take the status message out of the header and put it into messages. Let's put the footer menu again down into footer. We'll leave search, site branding, and user account menu where they are for now. The primary menu is in the wrong spot, but let's just take a quick peek at that. Click Save Blocks. Go back out to your site, and you'll see that our main menu is nowhere to be found. That's because primary menu doesn't exist in this theme. So make sure you take your main navigation and change that to main menu. Scrolling down, let's take a quick peek. In our content area, we've got the help block. That makes no sense either. Go ahead and put that in help. Page title, primary admin actions, tabs, and content. Those are fine. Sidebar first, welcome to Drupalville, book navigation, recent events, and tools. Let's take the tools menu and go ahead and put that just for fun, inside sidebar second. We haven't done this yet. And there are four panel regions here that you can place pretty much anything you want in. Go ahead and click Save. And let's take a look and see what we just did. Ah, we're looking a lot better now. Our menu is properly placed in the main menu block region, and therefore the CSS is picked up making it a nice inline menu with some shading and some coloring. That's really nice. 
Book navigation recently added events are on the left and the tools are on the right. Again, sidebar first, sidebar second. And all of our content is nicely down the middle. Now, once again, a couple of things to point out here. We've changed our theme, so everything's changed except our content. We've got new fonts, new font styles, new H3 tags, new block region layouts, and a new footer area that we can put things in. But what's not changed is our content and the actual layout of our content. That's something you would need to use panels or display suite for, and those are other add-on modules that you can get from Drupal.org. So themes are fantastic. Now this is a really simple theme. There are some very complex themes that you can get for Drupal, and I'm going to encourage you to come back over to drupal.org slash project slash themes and take a look at some of the Drupal 8 themes that are available. Now this number will grow significantly in the next month or two. So come back, find some themes that you like, install them, and play with them to your heart's content because that's a great way to learn about how themes impact your site and you can find just the design that you want.